Oh, so much insanity, so little time. Okay, since the attention span of the average American is that of a gnat, I'm going to rock through a little bit of recent history for you. Um, last week, six people were arrested uh, boycotting oil. Okay. Uh, they weren't arrested because they were protesting. That's how it's being arrested. You know, one, one, one such headline, six arrested attempting to block oil train to Canada. Okay. <laughs> uh, the argument out of these people was fracking oil is bad uh, and it's, it's dangerous to transport oil on trains because, you know, the train can derail and you can have an oil spill and, and this would be a horrible thing. So their solution is stand on the tracks and, you know, try and stop the, the shipping lines. Okay, they're protesting. You know, the point of a protest is to be in the face and be annoying. Whether your protest is valid or not is an entirely different matter and is besides the point, to be quite honest. Well, they're on private property, they're impeding things. Again, they're protesting. Oh, no wonder they're doing this, you know. Uh, but then, there's what happens, okay? Well, the, the, the oil is on trains because nobody will allow pipelines to be built. Pipelines bad, therefore we have to use trains. Well, okay, you won't let them build a pipeline, and then you complain that they use a train because you won't let them build a pipeline. Okay, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. I guess that makes sense in the eyes of the hippy dippy. Oh, yeah, but we can't use trains because we might wind up with oil spills. You know, it's a miracle we haven't had an oil spill yet. Now, let's look at why the people got arrested. They figured the best way to protest, prevent an oil spill, and do things of this nature is, wait for it, take a chainsaw to scaffolding when you know a train with oil is coming. I know I've been quiet for a while and you all think the video froze, but I had to let that insanity sink in because when I read it, I was... What? <laughs> so the plan to prevent oil spills and the ecological damage to the environment of oil and save Mother Earth from the evil corporations and oil is basically cause an oil spill. I thought this was insane to start with, the whole idea of we complain that big oil doesn't produce more oil and drive costs down and do these things. And we won't let them build pipelines or refineries so they actually have more crude than they need and can refine at the moment. And then we want to complain how they move the crude because we won't let them build a pipeline. It's like basically, it, it, you know what? It sucks to be oil right now. Because no matter what you do, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. The people will ask you to do something and then you say, okay, to do that, I need A, B, and C. And the people say, no, you're big oil. You can't possibly have A, B, and C. That would be bad. So then you still try and give the people what they want. And they complain about every way you do it. And they say you're evil and you're bad for the environment. And, you know, basically oil bad. And then they try and cause an oil spill because oil spills are bad. <sighs> I, brain imploding. Get, uh. on this one, y'all. Am I overreacting, or is this just 